Hey guys, Mitch here, just uh, on the way home from work, about uh, 10 past 6. Just thought I'd do a little uh, update on how things are going, what's going on with the business. Um, I haven't made a video in a while, um, but this is hopefully just, I mean, everything's so crazy here at the moment. I um, mean, the lead up to Christmas, it's, our, it's obviously our busiest time in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, everyone wants everything done yesterday. Um, so the way I've been running things lately is I've had a someone with me uh, every day, so I've been too many. Uh, for the first time this Monday, uh, today's Wednesday. This Monday we had I went out with a three-man crew, so myself and two employees, um, and that worked quite well. Uh, surprisingly, I wasn't quite sure how that was going to go, but it, it went fine. Um, and then on a Wednesday, so today, my wife Hannah goes out with another employee uh, and they do a full day of garden work. So today they did uh, two, two garden jobs, uh, like garden removal jobs and uh, a couple of mulching jobs uh, and one weeding job. So they got a bit knocked over, which was great. Um, So that's um, Wednesday, sort of my big day turnover-wise, uh, and then um, so Monday was quite good as well. But um, figures-wise, uh, the business is well. I don't know about double, but I think um, work-wise, last year I remember I wasn't doing. I was having someone with me uh, maybe one to two days a week. Um, so if you have, let's just say I had someone with me two days a week and I was working five days, that's seven man days that I had. Uh, at, at the moment I'm running, uh, I'm probably working five and a half days in total myself and I've, I've generally got someone with me the whole time so uh, that's awesome, awesome. We'll call that ten, ten, work, ten man days uh, plus the Wednesday where I have Hannah and someone else go out together as well. So that's another two man days there. There's 12 man days as opposed to seven. So it's the work uh, we are getting through is, is just under double, if you look at it like that, uh, than last year, this time last year. Uh, and that's still not really searching for it, as in milking my customers for more work. Uh, that's just doing stuff that needs doing, uh, stuff that I've been asked to do and I still can't even keep up with it. Um, I'm hoping to have Hannah go out with an employee twice a, twice a day um, after the Christmas period, sort of maybe February or something like that, um, if the work uh, warrants it. Um, Clientele-wise, we're sitting around 2.30. I haven't, haven't really checked for a while. Um, just been head down bum up, you know, a lot of 10, 12 hour days. Uh, yeah, Monday, Tuesday this week were both 12 hour days for me. I was sort of 7 till 7. Um, today's uh, was started at 8. I actually started at 7.30. Uh, forgot about that. Uh, and yeah, just on my way home now, quarter past 6. So, big days. Um, and it's something that I'm not really keen on, to be honest. I think there's got to be a better way to do it. Um, and I've got to refine things a little bit. Um, I'm really just sort of hanging on for dear life. Um, in the, with the thought process that, um, one, you know, I, I don't know if I'll, I'll cull my customer list. Um, I've got it set up pretty good. Um, where you know I, I, I should be making more money in my denser areas, but I do have that density in that in those areas, which really helps with the profit margins and getting through the jobs quick. Um, there was one, you know, a couple of little. Today we did we had you know nearly we had 20 lawns done by one o'clock I think today. Um, you know, and, and smashed out a few more this afternoon, so. Uh, my employee finished at four. Um, he worked from eight till four today, so that was good. Um, and then I just did a few things uh, to finish the day off and before I picked my son up from daycare. Um, it's 
kind of weird at the moment. Like I feel like there's always something to do for me, so I, I sort of feel weird finishing early. Um, I feel, and I know, I just know that if you know I, I let that one day slip where I am, am, I do have the ability to work till five thirty, six o'clock. That and I, do, I choose not to. That the next day I'll get swamped with other stuff and and won't be able to you know finish what I had had intended to do or something will go wrong or. I just know that that'll happen. So while I can work, and while the sun's up, you know, I'll get out there and, and try and do what I can. Um, been getting a lot of phone calls from real estates lately. Uh, very thankful that I'm t helping them out, taking you know, taking on work. Uh, took on uh, two new ongoing properties from a, from a real estate agent this week from another lawn guy that I know. I actually called that guy uh, who was doing the properties and just spoke to him about what was, you know. Uh, what he charged and um, you know the, his relationship with the customer and all that stuff and and that was that was good to talk to him about it we actually talked for about half an hour about different stuff about how we do things and, um, and whatever so that was nice to have a chat with him um, but yeah everything's everything's going all right just you know just as I said everything just hanging on for dear life my health hasn't been that good this year which is another reason why I think I need to change things um, I've got a really sore wrist this week like last and last week I was like death warmed up I've had some sort of virus I had to go to the doctors on Friday and I've got a follow-up appointment this Friday um, you know and I think it's just just running myself into the ground you know working just a ridiculous amount of hours and, and working hard hard for those hours I had it on the iPhone they've got that um, health app and I think I'm averaging like 20 21,000 22,000 steps a day on that and it's just a ridiculous amount of you know output there per day um, and yeah as I said it's not um, it's just this time of year it's just you know I, I, I'm just hanging on and trying to get through till till Christmas time when we have a little bit of a break have four days off and then work for a few more days and then we'll have a few more days off and um, I'm really looking forward to that you know just actually doing nothing and, and not being too stressed about it um, I had a good chat with uh, Martin from Mowing and Growing uh, earlier this week and, and that was good it's always so good to talk to him like I feel like we we get each other really well and we're, we're, we're you know, paddling in the same direction as far as what we want from our businesses and, and the way we're trying to track them. Um, he's been doing it a lot longer than I have and he's a, bit, he's a lot more refined and he's got a, I, I would say, a, a classier customer base, better paying customer base than what I do. Um, and that's something that I, you know, dream to have one day, um, but have volume at that. You know, that's what I'm trying to achieve, you know try and achieve at the moment is get a huge huge volume and then and then pick the pick the best customers out and, and just work with them and, and really really make make enough money out of that out of the good customers that I have you know um, so I think yeah I think he's doing he's doing that really well um, and starting to do that even better so yeah, it's an update, guys. Uh, hope everyone's got, you know, got good plans for the Christmas break. Um, you know, chilling out, spending time with the family, spending time with the kids. Um, that's what this year, this time of year, is all about—is the kids. So, you know, I can't wait for Christmas Day with mine and um, my little boy Emmett's three and a half, so he's right into it. And. Coco's one and a half. She's she loves she just loves the wrapping paper. So <laughs> she'll have good fun with that. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone everyone's safe and and with the people that they love. And uh, yeah, all, all the best, guys. Hope uh, 2016 is a great year for everyone. Cheers.